good morning students so myself vijay shankar from ec department chepro engineering college today we are going to discuss about the wave equations in phasor form and uniform plane wave in perfect dielectric nothing but it's a lossless dielectric and a lossy dielectric and the uniform plane wave in good conductor and the practical dielectrics so the different uh, uniform plane waves for the perfect perfect dielectric perfect conductor practical dielectric and the lossy dielectrics so before that uh, we can discuss about the waveform equations in the phasor form so already we derive the equations uh, the waveform equations now you can see that the waveform in the phasor form okay wave equations uh, in phasor form an electromagnetic wave in a medium can be completely defined if intrinsic impedance beta and propagation constant gamma of a medium is known so we know the eta is equal to the ratio between our already discussed in the previous class eta is equal to the ratio between of em plus by the hm plus or minus em minus by hm minus and the propagation constant gamma is equal to alpha plus i beta where alpha is a attenuation constant and beta is a phase constant the same propagation constant we use uh, in the transmission line that is represented as a p here in the waveform equations or the wave equations uh, the gamma is represented as a propagation constant okay my dear students don't confuse here thus it is the necessary to derive the expressions for eta gamma in terms of its pro of the properties of the medium mu epsilon and the conductor already we know the intrinsic impedance eta is equal to the ratio between of uh, em plus by the hm plus is equal to minus em minus uh, the coefficients of the equation hm minus that is equal to under root of uh, mu by epsilon we got this equation mu by epsilon or the mu not by the epsilon not because we derive the wave equations in the free space epsilon r is equal to 1 and the mu r is also is equal to 1 the 377 ohm the intrinsic impedance in terms of the ohms only 120 pi or it is also equal to the 377 ohms okay so now we can derive the eta and the gamma in terms of its properties of a medium such as uh, permeability mu permittivity epsilon and the conductivity sigma etc the gamma is equal to alpha plus i beta okay to derive these two expressions in terms of the constant values uh, we consider a maxwell's equation derived from the faraday's law the del gras e bar is equal to minus rho b bar by 2 derived from the faraday's law is one of the maxwell's equation del gras c bar is equal to minus 2 b bar by 2t b bar is equal to the relation between of b and the h is a mu into h bar so minus mu into 2 h bar by 2t taking the curl on both sides taking the curl function on both sides del gras del gras c bar is equal to Minus mu into del cross rho h bar by rho t. The mu is the constant. So applying the del cross h bar, then it becomes of a del cross del cross e bar is equal to mu minus mu into del cross rho h bar by rho t. We can return as a rho by rho t of rho by rho t of del cross h bar. Okay, my dear students. In the left hand side, del cross del cross e bar is equal to upon the one of the property of a curl function, del dot del 
dot e bar minus l square e bar is equal to okay del cross del cross e bar is nothing but del dot of del dot e bar minus l square e bar is equal to minus mu into dou by dou t of dou by dou t of del cross h bar okay the one of the maxwell's equation derived from the ampere circuit law del cross h bar is equal to del cross h bar is equal to sigma into e bar so before that uh, you have to know that is a jc bar plus jd bar that is nothing but the j one j bar is equal to del cross h bar is equal to j bar ampere circuit law saying and modified ampere circuit law del cross h bar is equal to conduction current density plus displacement current density jd bar jc is equal to sigma into e bar and jd bar is a dou by dou t of dou by dou t of d bar if it is in terms of the e bar of okay, sigma into e bar plus the relation we know d bar is equal to epsilon into e bar epsilon into e bar the relation between of the electric flux and the electric field so dou by dou t of d bar you can replace as epsilon into e bar is equal to sigma into e bar plus epsilon is a constant you write the outside epsilon to dou by dou t of e bar okay this is for the del cross h bar from the amperes modified ampere circuit by the maxwell equation substitute the del cross e bar as this equation the sigma into e bar plus epsilon into dou by dou t of dou by dou t of e bar now in the left hand side delta d bar is equal to 0 delta d bar is equal to 0 it becomes of 0 minus del square e bar del square e bar is equal to minus mu into is a dou by dou t see the dou by dou t i told that uh, replace in the one of the maxwell equation the harmonically time varying fields uh, dou by dou t is equal to 0 dou by dou t is equal to j o how we got this uh, d bar is equal to d not into e power j omega okay e power j omega t let us take that r e bar is equal to d e not into e power j omega t now you can apply the do with respect to the do by do t of do d bar by do t with respect to the time we are applying here d not into e power j omega t into j omega okay my dear students so apply the both sides with the do by do t The dou by dou t of e power j omega t is a e power j omega t into j o. So dou by dou t of d bar is equal to d not into j omega e power j omega t. So before that, you can write this as d not into e power j omega t into j omega. What it matters. What is a d bar d not into e power j omega t nothing but the d bar of so do by do t of d bar is equal to this is a function is already the d bar d bar into j o so see here the in left hand side and the right hand side the d bar is there and what is a do by do t nothing but j o so wherever the do by do t is there you can replace with the j o m so we already applied in that uh, the fourth table of the maxwell equations uh, 
Dou by dou d is equal to j omega harmonically time varying fields. Okay. So now wherever the dou dou by dou d is there, replace that as a j omega here into sigma into e bar plus epsilon into here also dou by dou d is there. Replace that is a j omega into e bar. Got it, my dear. So in the left hand side we have minus uh, del square e bar minus del square e bar is equal to here the function is there multiply with uh, minus uh, so here the minus and here also the minus is there get it is a plus both sides there is a minus multiply with the mu into j omega inside the mu j omega into sigma e bar plus and here the mu j omega j square is there okay j square mu into j omega whole square <coughs> epsilon is also there epsilon into mu j omega whole square into e bar what it matters Okay, these are after the simplifying we got this equation. Del square e bar is equal to mu into j omega sigma into e bar plus epsilon into mu j omega whole square into e bar. We have also e bar is there. Got it, my students. Then you see here the equation. Finally, we got. Uh, Del square e bar is equal to. I will erase in this one. Del square e bar is equal to mu into j omega. So here the j bar plus j d bar is equal to. I replace as j omega sigma into e bar plus j omega epsilon into e bar. What it matters, students? See the j omega mu into sigma e bar plus. J omega mu into epsilon. Here the square is there, my dear. In the square. Okay. Del square e bar is equal to J omega. You can multiply here. J omega mu into sigma e bar plus. Here the J omega and here also the J omega. J omega whole square. The printing mistake here. Epsilon into mu e bar. In these two functions, uh, whatever we got derived after this equation. In this function, we can take the common of j omega mu. In the two terms, we have the common term is a del square e bar is equal to del square e bar is equal to take the j omega mu as a common. So sigma plus j omega epsilon into e bar. What it matters is the equation six. Del square e bar is equal to j omega mu is a common term is sigma into e bar is there and here also the one j omega you get the common and mu remaining is j omega epsilon into e bar. Okay, my dear students. And this function we can call it as a del square e bar is equal to gamma square into e bar. Del square e bar is equal to This total function we can write as a gamma square into e bar. Now, what is a gamma here? The phase con propagation constant. Gamma square is equal to j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon, and gamma is equal to under root of j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon. The propagation constant. Okay, my dear students. So you see, from that equation, the del square h bar is equal to the same thing. Here the e bar is there. Del square e bar is equal to j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon into e bar. In similar way, we can also written as the phase equation in terms of the h bar. Both are the same. Del square h bar is equal to j omega mu into sigma plus j omega. Epsilon h bar. The term inside the bracket in the equation six and the seven. Six is in the electric field. Okay, 
that is a del square e bar is equal to we got the del square e bar is equal to the same function multiplication j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon all multiplied with e bar okay similarly we can write the another phase equation in terms of h bar the term inside the bracket in equation 6 and the equation 7 this equation 6 are exactly similar and represent the properties of medium in which the wave is propagating the the wave is propagating the the total term is the square of the propagation constant gamma square of the propagation gamma square gamma square is equal to uh, whatever there is in the parenthesis in the gamma square is equal to within the parenthesis uh, for the two equations the 6 and the 7 okay the total bracket in the square of the propagation constant gamma is equal to j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon and gamma is equal to see at the gamma is equal to under root of j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon what is the gamma here the propagation constant gamma is expressed in terms of the properties of the medium see the what is the properties of the medium mu is a permeability and epsilon is a permittivity and the omega is a frequency got it much the real and imaginary parts of the propagation constant gamma are attenuation constant alpha and the phase constant beta what it matters to us remember it is a very very important equation the phasor wave, wave equation for the phasor form that is gamma is equal to under root of under root of uh, j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon what it matters to us under root of uh, j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon so in this uh, the alpha is equal to alpha is equal to this equation the beta is equal to this equation so alpha is nothing but attenuation constant for students when we can say it is a lossy dielectric a lossy dielectric and the lossless dielectric means lossless dielectric lossless dielectric means alpha is equal to zero you already know in the transmission line equation when attenuation constant is a zero then we can call it as a distortionless transmission here lossless dielectric the waveform equation uniform plane wave in a lossless dielectric means alpha is equal to zero when it is alpha is equal to zero means uh, we know the jc bar by the jd bar the magnitude of jc bar by the jd bar is equal to sigma by the omega epsilon there is a two conditions we have less than one is a perfect dielectric perfect dielectric dielectric and sigma by the omega epsilon is very much greater than one is a perfect conductor perfect conductor okay my dear students so when it is alpha is equal to zero nothing but this attenuation is a zero if there is no attenuation there is no any loss in the transmission in the propagation constant gamma is equal to when the alpha is equal to zero so sigma by the omega epsilon when it is a lossless sigma by the omega epsilon the value is the, very much less than the one it say take the this condition very much less than the one is a perfect dielectric okay less than the one means see here the alpha is equal to listen carefully my dear students the alpha is equal to the equation we got here from gamma is equal to alpha plus i beta alpha is a real part and the beta is a imaginary coefficient So in this alpha, when it is a lossless and when it is a lossy, lossless means 
lossless alpha is equal to zero. I mean that this is sigma by the omega epsilon is very much less than the one. So here the one is there. When compared to the one, the sigma by the omega epsilon is very, very less. So in this under root of one plus sigma by the omega epsilon is very much less than the one. Means the square is also the very much less than. So it is a zero. Neglecting the term, simply saying that not the zero, neglecting the term. So under root of one is one only. And here the one minus one. One minus one. In this under root, uh, sigma by the omega epsilon is uh, very much less than means uh, compared to this one, we are neglecting this term. Under root of one is one, and one minus one is equal to zero. Alpha is equal to zero. So it is a lossless dialectic. Okay. Perfect dialectic means it is a lossless dialectic. Got it, my students. Now, what is a beta now? We already know the beta is equal to omega root LC in the transmission line. Alpha is equal to zero. It's a lossless transmission line or distortionless transmission line. What is a beta? Beta is equal to we got to omega under root of LC. There is a constant is L and the C. Where L is the inductance and the C is a capacitance minus students. This is for the transmission lines and the distortionless transmission. Now in this uh, propagation constant, uh, the wave propagation, what is a beta value? Similarly, here also observe 1 plus gamma by the omega epsilon. The value of the one is uh, very much less than the one means we are neglecting the term. Under root of 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is there here. 1 plus 1, nothing but the 2. So beta is equal to, we got omega under root of mu epsilon by 2. And again, this whole multiplied with, whole multiplied with under root of 1 plus this term is neglecting. The under root of 1 is 1 and plus 1. Previously, is under root of 1 is 1 and the 1 minus 1. We got as a 1 minus 1 is a 0. So the alpha, I got the 0. Now, what is a beta? 1 plus 1 is a 2. 2 by 2 is get cancelled. So beta is equal to omega under root of uh, mu epsilon. So in the, in the transmission line, distortionless transmission means omega, the frequency under root of uh, the parameters we have, the constant parameters L and the C. What is the constants here? Permeability and uh, permittivity, mu and the epsilon. Omega is uh, omega under root of mu epsilon. What is my students? Okay. When it is a lossless transmission. Not the transmission here, lossless dialectic. Here the distortionless transmission. Attenuation is a zero, there is no any loss, there is no any distortion of this in the transmission. And here also, when alpha is equal to zero, attenuation is a zero. There is no any attenuation for this. So the propagation constant uh, gamma is equal to only we have the beta. That beta value is omega under root of mu epsilon. So gamma is equal to zero plus j into omega under root of mu epsilon is the propagation constant for lossless perfected dialect. Okay. So how we got the alpha and the beta? That is a very, very important. How we got that equation omega under root of mu epsilon by 2 and whole multiplied with under root of 1 plus of the sigma by the omega epsilon whole square minus 1. We already derived that alpha and beta in the transmission line also my difference. But in the transmission line, we don't have any epsilon and the mu and the sigma. There is no any conductivity, dialectic, and uh, okay, my dear friends. How we got the alpha and the beta actually? How we got this equation? We already find the what is a lossless means alpha is equal to zero. 
and uh, beta is equal to omega under root half of mu epsilon that gamma is equal to 0 plus omega under root half of mu epsilon okay this is for the lossless dielectric lossless dielectric is a uniform plane wave the propagation constant having the alpha is equal to 0 nothing but attenuation constant and the phase constant beta is equal to in terms of the parameters of mu and epsilon and how we got the alpha and beta the real term and the imaginary term the derivation part we already seen the alpha is equal to beta is equal to the transmission that is a different okay that is in terms of the l at uh, the parameters what we have the r l and the g and the c but here there is no any r l g and the c that is a different uh, propagation constant uh, alpha attenuation constant and the beta phase constant but now here the alpha is in terms of the one of the parameters the dielectric constant uh, and uh, permeability permittivity so taking that square on both sides uh, to get the alpha and the beta alpha plus i beta is equal to alpha plus i beta is uh, whole square is equal to j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon okay so alpha is alpha is alpha square i square is a minus beta square plus 2 i alpha into beta is equal to j omega mu into sigma plus and here the multiplication j omega square j omega square into mu epsilon so what is the real term in the left hand side alpha square minus beta square. alpha square minus beta square is equal to and here j square is a minus okay here the j omega mu into sigma is for the alpha beta 2 into alpha beta is equal to the imaginary coefficient is a 2 alpha beta is equal to we got as uh, omega mu sigma the coefficient of uh, imaginary is omega mu sigma and here the j square is a minus omega square omega square mu epsilon got it matters the real term is alpha square minus beta square is equal to omega square mu epsilon and alpha and beta is equal to omega mu sigma from this we can derive the alpha and the beta arms. okay my dear students from these functions alpha square minus beta square is a, convert the beta as what is the beta here the two alpha beta is equal to means uh, two alpha and the beta is equal to omega mu sigma is there and beta is equal to omega mu sigma by the two alpha substitute the beta here alpha square minus beta square what is a beta square omega square mu square sigma square by 2 alpha nothing but that 4 alpha square is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon now we have this is equation having only the alpha square on what is my so, so alpha square simplify this equation to get the alpha to get the beta, alpha is equal to omega mu sigma by 2 beta. Substitute here the alpha is equal to alpha in terms of alpha is omega square mu square sigma square by 4 beta square minus beta square is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon. So simplify this equation to get the beta. Okay, my dear students. Like that, we got the omega alpha and the beta function. Okay, taking that the squaring on both sides and the imaginary coefficient, you can compare and the real coefficient comparing. Substitute the alpha and the beta in alpha square minus beta square. We'll get alpha is equal to this equation and the beta is equal to this equation. And this comparison sigma by the omega epsilon when less than the one is a perfect dielectric greater than the one is a good conductor or perfect conductor got it modestness 
So now the intrinsic impedance. We got the alpha and the beta, nothing but the combination of uh, attenuation and the phase is the phase uh, propagation constant gamma. The intrinsic impedance of a medium can be expressed in terms of the properties of uh, a medium and is given by what is the eta here? Eta is equal to the coefficient what we have here, the alpha gamma is equal to j omega by this one. So j omega mu by sigma plus j omega epsilon. Whether it is a right or wrong, we can see the eta is equal to, we know eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. Okay, mu by epsilon. See when it is a perfect direction. In comparison, the sigma plus j omega epsilon, sigma by the omega epsilon is very much less than the one. Where sigma is very much less than the omega epsilon. In comparing the denominator here, sigma term is comparing the omega epsilon is very, very less value. So neglecting this term, eta is equal to j omega mu is under root minus by we are neglecting this term. We have only the denominator is j omega epsilon. j omega, j omega get cancelled. And then the eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. So we got this one. Okay. So the intrinsic impedance of a medium can be expressed in terms of the properties of the medium is given by eta is equal to j omega mu. And the denominator is sigma plus j omega epsilon. Got it, And it's a perfect dialectic that the, the sigma by the omega epsilon, the sigma by omega epsilon is very, very much less than the one. Neglecting this term, under root is a one, and the eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. Got it, Martis? And now, the next one is a uniform plane wave in the perfect direction. Uniform plane wave in the perfect direction. I also told that uh, in a medium through which the uniform plane wave is propagating in a perfect dialectic, it is a lossless dialectic, which is also called as a lossless dialectic. What it matters for itself. Then the conductivity is a zero. Means the sigma by the omega epsilon is very much less than the one. Means dialectic is a uh, High compared to the conductivity. Conductivity is a zero here. So sigma is equal to zero. Substitute the sigma is a zero here. The gamma is equal to plus or minus j omega under root of mu epsilon. What is alpha here? It is only the coefficient of uh, imaginal. Alpha is equal to zero. Gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta plus or minus j omega under root of omega mu epsilon. In the equation one, it is clear that Propagation constant is purely imaginary. It indicates uh, in a perfect dialectic medium, attenuation constant is a zero. And the value of beta which propagates the wave in a positive z direction, alpha is equal to zero, beta is equal to omega mu epsilon. Similarly, the intrinsic impedance in the perfect dialectic medium, eta is equal to sigma is a zero miss, under root of mu by epsilon. In the perfect dialectic. Okay. And then there's the intrinsic impedance eta is a real resistive. That means the phase angle of intrinsic impedance is a zero. But the phase angle of intrinsic impedance is zero means uh, phase difference between E bar and H bar is also zero. In other words, uh, a perfect dialectic, uh, both the fields E bar and H bar are in, are in phase, are in phase. The same angle. How we will get this one? There is intrinsic impedance eta is a real resistor. That means the phase angle of intrinsic impedance is the zero. Phase angle of intrinsic impedance is zero. But the phase angle of intrinsic impedance is zero means uh, the phase difference between phase difference between there is no any angle here. Phase difference between this the E bar and H bar is a zero. In other words. Perfect dialectic, the both the fields are in, are in phase, means nothing but the zero. Okay, as a perfect dialectic, the sigma is a zero, 
attenuation alpha is also zero. Sigma means conductivity is a zero. If conductivity is a zero, alpha is also the zero. As the wave propagates, only the phase changes. Thus, no attenuation means no loss. No attenuation means alpha is equal to zero, means no loss is. So, so the perfect dielectric medium is also called as a lossless dielectric. Lossless dielectric. Okay. And in this, uh, the velocity of the propagation in the perfect dielectric is given by, we know already the velocity is in terms of 1 by under root of epsilon, that is a omega beta, and also the velocity is a lambda into f. We already derived these equations in the wave equations, okay, in the free space. The velocity of propagation in the perfect dielectric is given by V is equal to 1 by root of mu epsilon and the omega by beta are in terms of the wavelength lambda into f. Okay, my dear 